Okay, so let's uh, go through a very quick uh, discussion of some simple stuff about MATLAB. All right, the first thing I want to do is kind of give you a short tour of MATLAB. Uh, what you can see is on the left, uh, I have displayed my current folder. Uh, your your uh, layout may be a little bit different, but the, these are the things that I like to see. All right, I have my current folder, I which tells me uh, what uh, directory I'm operating in. I have my command window, which is here. Um, I have my workspace, which tells me what variables I have. And then I have uh, a series of uh, commands, uh, which are saved. Okay. Uh, that's just to give me some reference on what I'm, I'm working with. All right. So one uh, thing that you might want to know how to do is how to define a variable. All right. This is just a an assignment so let's say x is equal to 1 alright and now you see that it displays x is equal to 1 I now have something popping up in my workspace to say I have a variable x which uh, has a value 1 uh, if I wanted to suppress that uh, input I could have done x is equal to 1 with a semicolon alright and now you see it no longer displays directly under here what is going on alright so uh, that's how you define a variable. Uh, you can do the same thing if I had a vector. So let's say y is going to be a vector, which is going to be 1, 2. All right. So that's the same as having a vector which has one row and two columns with uh, variable numbers 1 and 2. All right. Uh, and again, I could suppress the input uh, by doing that. Now, uh, what you'll notice is I did a little trick there to bring up my previous command. Uh, hitting the up arrow will bring up your previous command and continuing to hit the up arrow will go the rest of the way up your command history. Okay, so you can see. All right, so now that I have variables in my workspace, I can do things with them. Uh, that's not really important for this video. Uh, there's just a couple cute little commands I want to show you first before uh, uh, we move on to more comp complicated things in the next video. Uh, one of those things is to do uh, clear all, all right? And what that does is it's going to clear all of my variables. So you see that I have X and Y in my workspace right now. If I type clear all and hit enter, you'll see that the workspace is now empty, all right? The other thing that the other cute little command to do is to clear the work, the command window uh, space. You can see that there's a history of everything I've done here. So I can do CLC, all right? Uh, and then the last little thing that I want to do um, is there if there's a set of commands you want to run over and over again, um, rather than uh, typing them all the commands into the command window over and over again, you can create a new script uh, and say if I wanted to do, make x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 comma 2. There we go. Uh, and if I wanted to run that over and over again, I could save this as, uh, I don't know, I'll call it XY. And then I can click run and it will execute that command. All right. Um, so that's the very, very simple basics of MATLAB. Uh, and that is really all there is to it.